joyous feast and there's the feast of the nativity of the most holy Theotokos and we'll celebrate our abundance of this morning. Thank you for joining us in prayer. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan teak on local penance of the diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Are you, o Lord. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. My heart is stirred by a noble theme as I recite my verses for the King. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. You are the most excellent of men, and your lips have been anointed with grace, since God has blessed you forever. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O oh mighty one. Clothe yourself with splendor and majesty. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. In your majesty, ride forth victoriously in behalf of truth, humility, and righteousness. Let your right hand display awesome deeds. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. You, o Lord. For yours is the majesty, and yours are the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let your sharp arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. Let the nations fall beneath your feet. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O oh Savior, save us. 
Your throne, O oh God, will last forever and ever. A scepter of justice will be the scepter of your kingdom. Through the prayers of the Theotok, also save your save us. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has set you above your companions, anointing you with the oil of gladness. Through the prayers of the Theotok, also save your save us. All your robes are fragrant with morales and kasha. From palaces adorned with ivory, the music of the strings makes you glad. Through the prayers of the Theotok, also save your us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and immortal Word of God, who for our salvation will to be incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, who without change became man and were crucified, who Christ our God, trampling down death by death, who are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Listen, O daughter, consider and give ear, forget your people and your father's house. Your nativity, O virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shown from you, O Theotokos, by annulling the curse, he bestowed a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us eternal life. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift. Men of wealth will seek your favor. Your nativity, O virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shown from you, O Theotokos, by annulling the curse, he bestowed a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us eternal life. Let in with joy and gladness you enter the palace of the king. Your nativity, O virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shown from you, O Theotokos, by annulling a curse, he bestowed a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us eternal life. I will perpetuate your memory through all generations. Therefore, nations will praise you forever and ever. Your nativity, O virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shown from you, O Theotokos, by annulling the curse, he bestowed a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us eternal life. Wisdom.
Come, let us attend. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness before the ages. Your nativity, O Virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ our God, has shown from you, Theotokos, by annulling the curse, he bestowed a blessing. By destroying death, he has granted us eternal life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By your nativity, most pure virgin, Joachim and Anna are freed from barrenness, Adam and Eve from the corruption of death, and we, your people, freed from the guilt of sin, celebrate and sing to you. The barren woman gives birth to the Theotokos, the nourisher of our life. For holy are you, O our God, and unto you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy. attend peace be unto all and to your spirit with soul the prokemenon in the third tone my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior my soul magnifies the lord and my spirit rejoices in god my savior for he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Wisdom. The reading from the epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Philippians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. 
Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Peace be unto your reader. And to your spirit, alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Listen, O oh daughter, and see, and incline your ear. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Before your face, the richest of the people will pray. Alleluia, alleluia, You illumine our hearts, O Master, who loves mankind with the pure light of your divine knowledge. Open the eyes of our mind to the understanding of your gospel teachings. Implant also in us the fear of your blessed commandments, that trampling down all carnal desires, we may enter upon a spiritual manner of living, both thinking and doing such things as are well-pleasing unto you. For you are the illumination of our souls and bodies, O Christ our God, and unto you we ascribe glory, together with your Father, who is from everlasting, your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, let us attend, let us listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. Our spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha received him into her house, and she had a sister called Mary, who sat at Jesus' feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she went to Jesus and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But Jesus answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things. One thing is needful. Mary has chosen the good portion, which shall not be taken away from her. As Jesus said this, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that you sucked. But Jesus said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory forever. This morning, we celebrate the first of the major feasts of the new liturgical year. And in many ways, it is a feast of inspiration for us, especially as we continue in this very strange and challenging time of our coronavirus pandemic. Last night during Vespers, and it was a joy to celebrate the fullness of Vespers, probably for the first time, that being a feast that we were gathered together in church since March. The following stichira was read or chanted, Today God, who rests upon the spiritual thrones, has prepared for himself a holy throne on earth. He who in wisdom established the heavens has fashioned a living heaven in his love for mankind. For from a barren root he has made a life-bearing branch spring up for us, even his mother. O God of wonders and hope of the hopeless, O Lord, glory to you. Just a few days ago on Saturday, we celebrated the holy prophet Zechariah and righteous Elizabeth, likewise an elderly couple, as were Joachim and Anna. And in both cases, God sent his archangel 
to visit them and to indicate to them that their elderly age would not prevent them from bringing a child into the world. The barrenness of our human nature fallen after the sin of Adam and Eve, suffering illness and death and all the struggles of this life, that this barrenness would be overcome by God's word, literally by God's word, not only because God spoke this word to them, but God sends his son, the eternal word, to come and dwell among us through the Virgin Mary, who would become his mother. And the righteous Elizabeth and Zechariah giving birth to John the Baptist, preparing the way for our Lord as he comes into this world. So these two elderly couples remaining steadfast in their faith, remaining steadfast in their life, remaining steadfast in their relationship with one another in love, were blessed in the latter years of their life with an unexpected blessing that wound up changing the world as we know it. But brothers and sisters, as we come together today to celebrate this feast, it is our prayer that this time of our own barrenness, of our not being able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist, not being able to gather in church as the body of Christ, may be overcome by God's word. Similarly, not only God speaking to us through the lives of the saints and through the life of the church, but also through his son who comes to be with us, who comes to show us, who comes to heal those who are infirm, to raise those who were dead from their graves, to help all of us to find the way to him, to salvation in the kingdom of heaven. And so today, with this birth announcement of the mother of God, we have the beginning of this pathway of the eternal word, the eternal logos, coming to dwell with us, coming to be with us here in this world. Not only back in the day when Jesus was born, but today anew. So let us rejoice in this feast. Let us be filled with the joy of the Lord, for God sends his Son that we might have life in him. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say. Lord of mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord of mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan deacon, on low tenants of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Can we pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our, our forces? Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, especially the Archpriest Joseph, Robert, Arkady, Sonia, Anne, and Maria. And to hear and in all the world by asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, especially for those who are sick and suffering, our former Metropolitan Theodosius. Matryoshka, Natasha, Anastasia, Macrina, Cynthia, Elizabeth, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, John, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, Anne, Marie, and Nona, for the servants of God suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Magdalena, and the servant of God, Luca, 
and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Again, we pray that the Lord our God in his mercy and providential care for us will call forth for our diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works and are holding our venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await your great and rich mercy. For you are a merciful God and love mankind, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth, and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our crying, repentance, and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Come unto him and be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. The heavenly choir sings to you and cries, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The choir of holy angels, archangels, with all the powers of heaven, sing your praises and do cry. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. O God, 
have remit, pardon and forgive our sins, whether voluntary or involuntary, whether by words or deeds, whether in knowledge or in ignorance, whether by day or night, whether in mind or thought, forgive us all these, for you are good and love mankind. is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. O O Holy Trinity, mighty one in essence, kingdom undivided, origin of all good things, be graciously inclined also to us sinners. Establish us, give understanding to our hearts, and purge away all our vileness. Enlighten our minds that we may glorify, sing praises, and adore you. And to say, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy is the man who takes refuge in him. O oh, fear the Lord, you his saints, for those who fear him have no want. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O oh, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and covets many days that he may enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against evildoers to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He kept all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems the life of his servants. None of those who take refuge in him will be condemned. Nativity of the Mother of God. Virginity is foreign to mothers. Childbearing is strange for virgins. But in you all they are to gospels for accomplished. For this all the earthly nations unceasing. Glory 
to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father blessed. May Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, whose nativity we commemorate today, of the holy, glorious, all audible prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Joyous feast day, Sprasnikum, Kronia Pola, on this, the feast of the Nativity of the Most Holy Virgin. May we be uplifted in the day of this feast. May we be filled with joy that the eternal word is coming into the world to be with us as we begin this new liturgical year. We also thank Susan for singing the responses last night for the wonderful Vespers that we celebrated and for our Obednitsa this morning. We continue to look forward to the day when we can be restored to the fullness of our liturgical life. But these small glimpses that were given help us to be reminded of that fullness and to continue our efforts to work toward that goal. God bless and be with you. And I'll ask if Susan could sing the Troparian one more time as we have the icon in the middle of our icon corner, just as it is in the middle of our church. God bless and be with you. Your nativity, O Virgin, has proclaimed joy to the whole universe. The Son of Righteousness, Christ, has 